Good night, folks. Good night, the face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> People, I am here to talk about Dexter Black's Stewart. Intro song, DJ. Just in case for you, you know, a little reminder of who Dexter Black's Stewart is. What? What? He's still living in the house. Still in the house. Still in the house. Yeah. Yeah. December 21st, I think it was uh, 1960, if I'm not mistaken. And before I embark on his musical journey, I'll take on another small journey where I encountered blacks. Uh, I encountered blacks playing basketball, South Trinidad. I'm from Pinal, so our team was like Pinal 76ers, obviously, you know, we give it. American team, so it was the United 76 ers Blacks and them was the Paria Spurs. I was on the under 19 team, so that's clearly known that I would be younger than Blacks, alright? He was on the big boy team. He wasn't the best player on the team. And that's not putting him down because he was, he was a very good contributor. Truly. And was very consistent, right? In beating us amongst us. Other teams, not only us, all right. So, and what I remember about him, like I said, besides the, 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 the consistency and his contribution to you know winning them games, is like um, after the games, you know, we always win, yeah, 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 right, trash talk, trash talk, blacks, right, trash. When blacks done trash talk, whoever all bad play and all the things he was talking, we laughing at myself, yeah. but that's the kind of fella he was, you understand. All down to good, you know, blacks having a good time, everybody having a good time. Alright? Um, that being said, going back on his musical um, journey, he started off at, uh, some would say 10, I would say ripe, age of 13. You understand? As a young man, so to speak. Yes. You know, um, started off with his father's band, Jerry and uh, New School, I guess. Blacks was new school, mm. right? Back then he was just like a steward, remember? He didn't, he didn't, nobody knew him as Blacks. So after, you know, being molded, you know, needing the dough, season. Blacks, yeah, you know, starting to put a little season and thing. He, he, he started playing with a other band named, uh, no, to give my pronunciation, I'm not closing. It is spelled F-U-C-C-E-C-C-I-O-N. Is it for cushion or for cushion? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. We all grown. We all grown. All right, all right. so all let's just say for cushion, for cushion, whoever. And seasoned. He was with them for like about 10 years. And within that 10 years, yeah, more and more seasoning went into the pot. And blacks started to become blacks. You know? Uh, after that 10 years, uh, I guess somebody playing on our next fire because he started to play with, uh, with the bands, big bands, the likes of let's say Atlantic, uh the Dragonairs, Blue Ventures. By that time he was he was blacks, but he was just being all shot now, he was almost done, right? Right. Then a Super special raster man like myself, <laughs> Roy K. Yes. Roy K. All stars. Yeah. I Decide. I'm going to link up with blacks. He tell blacks. He say, "Yo, you know, how you come and mash up over here, man?" And as well, you know, the rest was his shit. Yep. Blacks became blacks. Mm -hmm. Not because he was black. 
who the actually artist mm. was born. Yeah. You understand? I mean, giving music upon music. And I, I from my perspective, I would say blacks didn't make music for the like, competition. Right. You understand? You make music for music. You just make good music. Mm -hmm. You understand? Music from the heart. Which to me is timeless music. Mm -hmm. You never make music for competition or for that year. You understand? Mm -hmm. Or not you just make good music. And again, like in basketball, it wasn't the best. It would mean nothing about it. Because as society have it, the best meaning you have to wear a crown all the time. Yeah. Blacks wear a crown. Yeah. All the it's time. Mm -hmm. Right? And I would say, being the best no matter to me. One of the best because it <coughs> always have best. Always have best. Because somebody always coming along. Mm. Towards so far right now was the best, but you know what? They are the greatest. Mm. And then you have somebody coming greater. Mm. You understand that why we call them legends now? Mm. Living legends, legends gone, whatever it is. But you understand? Mm. But it was the best. It was one of the best. And he was always a contributor. And he was always consistent. It didn't have, let me say, from the year blacks became blacks. It didn't have a song we could say, well, we can't remember. It just might be at the forefront of your head right now. Right. You understand? But it did. Any time it clicked. You understand? Like the, the opening of the little intro. Tanti boy. I can't miss you very morning, Tanti boy. I am an old bro, my meeting, Tanti boy. I can't miss you very morning, Tanti boy. The road calling boy, it calling boy. And I beating boy, it calling boy. Spread your hands and let go. Spread your hand in the air, everybody. Spread your hands and let go. I feel like Hulk. Rah, rah. Move any mountain and trample any building like Hulk. Rah, rah. I mean, with consistency and nice. always, Sweet. you know, bringing it. Yeah. With that kind of energy. You're tired in Ali Man. Right. He's up there even before he passed amongst the greatest. You understand? Because. I could listen to the music he made yesterday, now, and 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and whatnot, and it's still, it's like, it's in the presence. So once you make music from the heart, it never goes. You understand? It never goes old. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you with the last one that Blacks, Blacks did. You understand? One life to live. One life to live.